We have come here today to be with Sarah and Michael as they take the next step in their journey together. In one sense, they are not beginning a new life. They are continuing and strengthening the bond that is obviously already there. I'm very happy to see that he's found his new partner in crime, and I can't tell you how exquisitely joyful I am to welcome you to our family. With full understanding of this, Sarah and Michael have come here today to be joined as lifelong partners. We are here today not only to witness your commitment to each other, but also to wish you both every happiness in your future life as a couple. Within its framework of commitment and loyalty, marriage enables the establishment of a home where trust, patience, respect, and a dog <laughs> and the love and affection that you have for each other may continue to develop and deepen in the years to come. I would like you to join me in celebrating Mike and Sarah and what they mean to all of us, but more importantly, today, what they mean to each other. Do you, Michael, take Sarah to be your wedded wife, to cherish her in love and in friendship, in times of strength, vulnerability, successes, and setbacks to love her faithfully today, tomorrow, and for as long as the two of you shall live. I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you, Sarah, take Michael to be your wedded husband, to cherish him in love and in friendship, in times of strength and vulnerability, successes and setbacks, to love him faithfully today, tomorrow, and for as long as the two of you shall live? I do. I hope to know both of them in the future, individually and as a couple, a lot better than they know them now. We just want to toast to this amazing group of people here with us today. We couldn't imagine it any other way. Thank you. By the power invested in me by the state of Utah, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may share the kiss. <laughs>